everybody. Um, just throwing some chains on here. Thought we'd say, what are you doing? Are you talking uh, to me? He's talking to him. Tell her. Tell what? mom. <laughs> Tell her. Mrs. Uh, yeah. You're going after him. <laughs> um, anyways, throw on some chains on here. I thought I'd show you how I do it. There's different ways that people do it. Uh, this is just how I do it. Um, on this type of chains, you got the hook here in the front. You always want that hook to be on the inside. And this part here, the cam, you want that. Um, to be on the outside for sure because you won't ever get to it on the inside um you just take your chain roll it up you drive first of all you drive up onto the chain lay it out flat in front and drive onto it so chains, lay them out flat and put them in front of the tire as close to the tire as you can get and then drive up onto them you don't want to go too far onto them then you won't be able to lift the chain around it um there's here on the front there's a hook here on this side and this cam on the other side you always want to keep the cam to the outside because you won't be able to lock the cam on the inside I mean you could if you wanted to crawl underneath the truck and do all that kind of stuff but I don't want to um, but that hook comes around and hooks in this link here and then the cam will come through one of these links out here. So that's how that goes. And I'll show you. You take this, bring it up over the tire. Now, what you might have to do is keep working the, the cross chains up around so you can get it tight um, just keep working them up around as far as you can get it reasonably because you'll be you'll be able to get a lot more slack out of the chains and that's what you want okay now you won't be able to see this I'm just taking this link though and putting it up on the hook in the back. Now, take this cam. Now they make special tools to do this. I don't have a special tool, so I use the channel lock. So, take this, put it through the link. Drop the link down like that. Put the cam through it like such. Now you can see I pulled that in, and I can I can do that by myself. You know I can take that. That is because this is too loose on the bottom here. So take it up. Hold if you can hold that up. I'm gonna try and get on this last link here. If I can see it drop down for me. I don't know if I'm going to get that last link or not. Just keep trying here. This wants to drop. Put it up again. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain, but I tell you what, the guys out here, like the truck drivers that put chains on, all the time they're good at it <laughs> they're fast all right so we got it now you want to try and slide this back if you can like that I might not be able to actually Too tight. get that I might have to take and the next one. I don't know if I'm gonna get that. I'll try it. Okay. See, this is where the special tools. You could make your own tool if you used a pair of channel locks and 
and uh, welded stuff onto them and stuff. But this is where what it does, that tool actually goes in that slot and hooks onto your link and then you crimp it down there. Well, you best watch yourself throwing snowballs while I'm videoing. So I can get some more slack out of jeans. Austin. <laughs> I might have. There, I think I got enough. See, if you jerk around on the chains a little bit, yeah. you can sometimes get the slack you need. Okay, so what you do is you got this tail end here. You don't want that flopping around and carrying on. So I just take that, come in around the chain, and come back and pull that tight. Put these bungees on there, keep things tight. Um, and when you're coming on to the tire under this chain here, you don't want that hook facing in like that because if that gets into the, your side bowl, they can face it out like that. See, like that. That way, it, less chance of it. And you want to be careful too. Um, when you're doing this, sometimes snap. If they're old, they might snap on you and come back and hit you in the face. So keep your face away. So. Not pretty. Oh, there you go. There you go. So a woman could do this. Yeah. But it would be a little tougher because it does be, take some torquing to get yeah, that. But it'd be better if she had a regular tool. It'd be a lot easier. Okay. A lot easier to do. She could get on there and just crimp it, crimp it right down. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier for you. Okay, cool. We so. are dying on the battery once okay. again. All right. Well, you take care. God bless. Catch you later. Just show you around here real quick before this battery dies. This is why we're putting chains on. Wave boy, now that you're done throwing snow at me. Uh-huh. But this is our winter wonderland. We've got about three feet of snow out here, so we're trying to figure out where to go with it all. It's quite crazy, but it's as awesome. This is what I prayed for. So you can see our how it hangs on the trees. It's just like Narnia out here. It's beautiful. So, and uh, this piece right here is what he will be attaching the truck to shortly. That is a poor man's plow, as we've called it last year. And that he built and uh, pulls that behind the truck to plow the snow. So he's chaining up so to be able to do that. Our back goes down. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> what? It's right there. <laughs> yeah, it broke down right now, so. So it's collecting snow instead of moving yeah. snow. Yeah. But I'll try to show you that in action too, so maybe we'll put that at the end here. So we'll catch you in a bit.